Ward calls it Blue Oval City. That's our text to nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from Ford is Electric Vehicle Center plant manager, Kel Kearns. Hi, Kel. Good morning. How are you? Terrific. Well, give us an overview of what this is all about. This is a, an industrial complex in West Tennessee, right? Yeah, I'm really excited to uh, lead the plant that's uh, going to produce Ford's second generation electric truck called Project T3. And um, it'll be arriving in 2025. So the, uh, the, the site is, uh, is a mega site. It's about uh, six square miles, um, 3,000 acres. And at the hub of Blue Oval City is the electric vehicle center, which I'll lead producing uh, a battery electric truck. And the size of the site really allows us to be vertically, vertically integrated. And we have a battery plant on site. We have a number of other suppliers on site. So the fresh sheet of paper really gives us the opportunity to be efficient and at the same time environmentally friendly and be carbon neutral by 2026. Well, this plant, is, as you mentioned, is also going to be producing batteries, I guess, for, for the whole range or quite a few of the uh, Ford vehicles? The uh, battery plant on site will be producing uh, the batteries required for uh, my plant. Um, and uh, the, the uh, other suppliers are on the, on the site as well, supplying for the uh, electric vehicle centre. So the site um, is, is a little ecosystem that, that feeds, uh, feeds itself and uh, is, is most efficient. And uh, thus you're calling it a city. This is a big investment, is it not? Like something like $5.6 billion? Yeah, Ford's um, intending to lead the, uh, the electric revolution. And um, while Ford's spending uh, $50 billion globally uh, by 2026, Blue Oval City is a major part of that. And as you say, 5.6 billion uh, of that investment. And, um, you know, in, in terms of jobs uh, and jobs for people, um, it's providing uh, an awesome high-tech career opportunity for more than 6,000 people. So that's, uh, I guess, why we call it a city. That's terrific. Well, tell us about that. And the, there's a training involved too, right on site there? Yes. So, um, uh, our workforce development team uh, has been working in the local community for more than a year now, understanding what the pipeline is, where, where the people are coming from, which institutions, and working with government. So there's a Tennessee College of Applied Technology uh, being built on site, as you say. So uh, that is integrated into, into the whole scheme. Our workforce team is launching uh, what they're calling Blue Oval Learning, and that's a talent uh, development initiative to ensure that the people of West Tennessee are equipped to take advantage of these uh, uh, electric uh, vehicle uh, jobs and careers and opportunities and um, make uh, a future for, for people here in America. That's a really, really terrific. So what does the timeline look like for getting this all built and online? I mean, you've got a really ambitious deadline. Uh, the team's going really, really well. We're in the construction phase right now, um, and uh, we're, we're on track to, uh, to be building our first customer vehicles in 2025. Very exciting. So have you announced which vehicles specifically you're going to be building at the site there? Uh, at this stage, we've, we've announced it's the uh, second generation battery electric truck uh, for Ford. Um, we... Our, our first generation is the uh, very successful F-150 Lightning, which is available right now. So this will be the second generation. We're calling it Project T3. Um, and at this stage, we uh, uh, haven't revealed any more, any more details. Um, it will be uh, very exciting to, uh, in, in the future, re reveal those as the, uh, as the design needs completion. Is there a place people can go to for more information about all this, Cal? Uh, Blue Oval City at Ford, I guess we, uh, we have Facebook, we have uh, Twitter, and uh, coming to uh, Instagram uh, soon as well. So you can find out uh, details there. And um, hiring will be uh, starting uh, towards the end of this year and in earnest uh, through next year. 
And this is an area in Tennessee that uh, certainly has a need for for this kind of technology, these kinds of jobs, right? I think it's an uh, awesome opportunity for West Tennessee. And uh, we've been welcomed with open arms and uh, everybody is uh, is really excited um, about the opportunity it's bringing uh, to the area. So um, we're really glad that we can be part of um, making a, a difference uh, in, in the community. And um, um, it's it's really exciting. And you've already picked up that Tennessee accent, right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm not, I'm not sure how long it will take for the Australian one to wear off, but um, but I'll I'll be here for uh, for a long time and uh, really excited to um, to go through the whole journey uh, of onboarding, launching, and getting the plant to stability. Um, I think it's going to be really satisfying. Well, congratulations on what you, the team there, and and Ford are doing. Really terrific, Kel Kearns. Thanks for spending time with us. Thanks for the opportunity. <laughs>